Hello and welcome back to Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken and today we're starting a new let's play of this uh, game which is showered by praise left and right. If you wondered what would happen if Fallout meets XCOM then you get Wasteland. And Wasteland 3 seems to be the pinnacle of uh, that trilogy. I am attempting a blind playthrough. The only thing that I've done so far is character creation and just five minutes of getting to know the absolute core fundamentals. But we are not only going to play it uh, blind, we are also going to play it on the hardest difficulty. So join me when we are getting ready to explore the world of Wastelands. So for starters, hardest difficulty called Supreme Jerk. I like that. And we're going to be a supreme jerk uh, with extreme combat difficulty, friendly fire. Uh, apparently permanent death is off and difficult skill checks are off as well. I don't yet know what they are, but and I also don't know how to enable them. So let's just go with the hardest difficulty as is, supreme jerk. And let's watch what this game really is about. It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then the Cochise AI woke up and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the Rangers heard from a fellow calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the Rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. been a rough road lately but that's the thing about the rangers it doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many of them fall they keep on fighting the rangers never stop fighting All right, so I went through the character creation in advance to make it a little bit faster and wanted to introduce our two protagonists to you. So we got Bradford here, aka Central, who is uh, going to be kind of a mid-range 
character with an SMG, so pretty much like the real Central, hopefully with better voice lines and a less annoying attitude. And we got inappropriate Murphy, uh, who is hiding his uh, recession uh, or recessive hairline and his bad jokes underneath this mask. So for starters, I need to say that um, Wasteland has a fantastic character customization. It's just looking absolutely great. If you're going through the appearance, the character details are absolutely fantastic. In terms of stats, what is important is um, Bradford here will be kind of the leader of the team. Therefore, we've given him a special trait called Paladin, where his leadership aura is going to be larger and he has less chance, 15% less chance to be critically hit. As a starting weapon, we're using the submachine gun uh, because it mentioned that it is a mobile uh, f uh, fighting device for mid-range. So that's where I think he should be, kind of in the middle of everybody. Um, attributes are interesting. I wanted to showcase that to uh, those of you who don't know Wasteland. So we got coordination, which is a nicer form of saying dexterity, gives you more action points and resistance to status effects. Luck, which seems to influence all of the roles. Awareness, which is really better hit chance and range damage bonus. Strength, which is more hit points, more melee damage. Speed, uh, which is better evasion, initiative and so on. Intelligence, which seems to be ultra important in my book because it gives you skill points and better crit uh, chance and better crit damage and better heal chance. So it seems to be uh, a super stat, at least maybe I'm misreading it, but uh, the skill points, I value them quite highly because a lot uh, in this game seems to go through skills. But again, I might be wrong with that. And charisma is going to be kind of a... Uh, leadership aura that everybody has so in this case range is plus 10 meters plus 5 from his trade and then he gets a little bit more experience and in terms of um, skills we're going to go with automatic weapons this includes submachine guns and assault rifles it's cool two for one trade there are a lot of general skills uh, you can talk to animals you can use explosives you can use all weird other stuff first aid sneaking uh, there are a couple of what they call exploration skills. I would uh, call that potentially craft skills. So we do have armor modding. We do have weapon modding and a couple of other uh, stuff there. And then there are social skills, which um, Bradford is hopefully exceeding in. So the one that he has is leadership as the main skill, which basically is a buff aura for everyone. Uh, plus one hit chance, plus 2.5% damage, more crit chance, and uh, whenever we revive someone, more healing. I don't know what that means yet, but we'll find it out. But anyways, more everything uh, for everyone in, in the group. And as much as our group is growing over time, I think that this kind, uh, kind of is going to be very good. If you just look at it, 10% hit chance for everyone is just such a great buff. So... I definitely want to get uh, leadership up. Uh, next up is kiss ass, which is a nicer way of saying diplomacy. So succeeding at kind of nicer uh, diplomacy checks to influence um, other members uh, in a friendly way. And harder seems to be the exact opposing uh, way to intimidate others. And there is another social skill barter, which gives us sale value of up to plus 500% for the items, but doesn't seem to be all too bad either. Uh, what I notice is that the first three uh, points cost you one, and then the upgrade goes up by two and then by three each and then by four each five and the last one is six so it exponentially becomes more expensive which means there is a bit of a built-in um, idea that you that you get kind of core skills to a certain point leveled up and then apparently it becomes more difficult so Bradford here will cover all of the social skills that's what i thought social skills plus a little bit automatic weapons. 
I don't know if that's a good character concept, but my experience in these types of games is if you do have a character that has social skills, typically the game becomes easier. Inappropriate Murphy, on the other hand, does have Gold Killer. Gold Killer is an interesting uh, trait that allows you to have a critical chance of 5%. Uh, percent. Um, he is going to start with snipers. His attributes look a bit different. Uh, I, again, I value intelligence very highly. Then we put a bit of awareness in as well, and awareness lets him hit better. And for a sniper, I think that's the name of the game. We're going into heavily into sniper rifles. I figured might need another weapon for him for closer range, so I uh, checked uh, small arms. So we're having that as well. By the way, what I didn't mention so far is certain um, ranks. For instance, level 2 sniper rifle gives you perks. And apparently those are for the specific weapons. So for instance, sniper rifles does have marked target. In addition to the technical value, making an enemy for your squad to focus fire is good. Whatever that means, I assume it is actually making it easier for everyone to uh, hit that target for a certain amount of action points. So I hope that the perks that you're unlocking with that might be uh, helpful even if you don't use the weapon. Because Small Arms, for instance, has a, uh, has a perk on the second level. Oh man, it's difficult to... <laughs> Uh, to show you that okay, it has a perk in the se second level but Yeah, unfortunately the scrolling here makes it very very difficult to show you anyways We got some more first aid. We got some sneaking uh, with them and nothing else really focus on the weapons But I want Murphy to focus on sneaking first aid um, small arms sniper rifles. I think that's a good start. He's supposed to be the DPS and that's really it. There are still a couple of quirks. Quirks essentially allow you uh, to gain um, negatives but you gain positives in return. Uh, so it's always a combo package. Uh, in this case Murphy will get minus one action points but when we kill someone he, he gets plus three action points which I think is a fair trade. The other option that I uh, figured uh, might be interesting for him uh, is there was one where you could uh, take additional damage. Yeah, here, Sadomasochist, um, where you have 33% more range damage, but you also receive 33% more damage. No clue if that is any good. I go with my gut feeling, and my gut feeling tells me you want more AP. So if he kills someone, we gain 3 AP, and that, in my book, is fantastic. Central's quirk is um, the range and blood. Whenever an ally is downed, he gains plus 100% critical chance and 3 AP. So that sounds like a pretty decent uh, trade as well. Let's jump right into the game. Alright, we jump into the combat. First of all, gotta appreciate just how good everything looks. Very crisp. We got a couple of um, teammates, some of which are already dying. And now it is our turn. So we see 7 uh, AP and 6 AP, which is uh, which stands for action points. And we got serial killer on the next uh, killing spree we gain 3 AP all right fantastic so uh, for starters uh, you can see blue move just like in XCOM allows you to shoot one more time shooting uh, takes a different amount of AP uh, small weapons 4 sniper apparently 6 and you can see that if we're moving into a specific target like here into a target location uh, it also shows us the exact amount of uh, hit chance that we do have. Um, Central, I think, does need the kill. Uh, we need the kill on Murphy, and Murphy uses all of his 6 AP to snipe someone in the back. Gets 3 AP, and I think we're just literally moving over here. 
Central on the other end. Downs one of these guys, has three AP left over. We're going into full cover and then there are a couple of uh, options. We can either defend ourselves, which gives us 5% uh, evasion uh, per each AP spend, or we can take over AP from this turn into the next turn. Uh, and that will carry over up to two unused AP, which is exactly what we're having, so might as well take that and wait for next turn. I know the first fight already because that's the only one that I played, so I kind of am in, in the knowing of what's going on. And this robot is bad news. Holy moly. Uh, that's also not good. Alright, so, serial killer, right? 50-50 here, 60% here. Uh, I think we're taking the two-thirds uh, chance. That is unfortunately not good enough. You will see in a second why I am focusing on the right-hand flank and not on the other side. So we're going to hunker down. Makes it more likely that this robot will miss us. Fantastic. Now we got this big fat truck, the Kodiak for once. And the Kodiak is an absolute beast. Look at that. <laughs> wow, not bad. Murphy misses again. That's atypical for him. He typically is the type of guy that does not miss at all. Um, tell you what, we're out of ammo, so might as well reload. And then take one AP over to the next round. Alright, Murphy, come on. Once again. There you go. Over here, you two. Come here. If you want to live through this, we got to take out the bastards with the rocket launcher up on the dam. We'll each find our own way up there and catch them front and back. Got it? Understood, Major. And remember, Arizona's depending on us. There's no giving up here. All right, move and keep an eye out for survivors. Let's not leave anyone behind. Fair enough. So we got a few scars here and there. Starting to heal ourselves. Don't let them scatter. Keep them together while I reload the rocket gun. Oh, man, I love this thing. So we found a, <laughs> a yellow snowball. Throws at the character to leave them wondering where their life has turned wrong. Uh, has a couple of chances to apply debuffs. These here are common crafting components. Uh, the rest seems to be junk. Cigarette bun, metal toy, nose ring, yeah, lots of junk, as one would expect after the first fight, right? He's showering in gore. What the actual F. Alright, we'll took him out of his misery here. Uh, got a little bit of cash. That's not bad. Okay, so much for the idea of saving others. Ranger was beaten to death. 
Our friends are taking a harsh beating here. Ranger's corpse are wide open. They reflect uh, mm, the fire of the burning trucks. Someone sliced open the ranger's abdomen and removed his intestines. Uh, judging by the expression that is frozen on his dead face, he was alive when that happened. Oh my lord. Well, this game starts out setting a pretty harsh tone here. How should I know? Maybe you blew her up already. Liar. I want her head. It's gonna be me who bring it to Jared. Where is she? I don't know. I don't know. Thanks. Don't think I could have lasted another second. Really did a number on me. Let us take a look at your wounds. You guys are lifesavers. Any survivors from your squad? Not likely. Most of them burned with our transport. A couple more went under the ice and wait. Major Tom. He might have made it some take off like a bat out of hell after we wrecked don't know if he'll come with you if you find him he gets pretty spooked but take these all right we got some get his cigarettes who's major tom <laughs> majors just his nickname you can just call him tom when you find him let's get you Gotta moving catch my wind first let me stay here and guard your rear while you take care of the ones. Be careful. Okay, well. Got some more money. Uh, got some more ammunition. Apparently ammo is a thing in this game. And we got uh, cassette tape. Interesting. Oh wow, I hope that they survived. Got a key. Alright, that's interesting. Do we get a box? And do we know what the key is for? I like the campsite. What I don't like is that we can't do anything with a key. Alright. Let's move on. Blood! Blood for the deluge! Oh, <laughs> whoa! No! <laughs> Don't worry, crap baby. You won't be grieving long. Murders! Sick fox! Okay, so. Listen. Can we separate you guys? Is there a button to ungroup? Is there a button to ungroup? Let me figure that out. Good, figured it out. It's called group mode on or off. So. Central positions himself here. We need to get them into proper shooting angles, right? So reload. Crouching down. So now there was an ambush key. Let's see how that works. Let's 
Let's take a shot at this guy. Excellent. Excellent. Combat just started. Oh, ambush is overwatch. I see. I see. Ah, okay. I see. Is that... Is ambush overwatch? Yeah. Okay. Never mind. So he moved. We immediately shot at him. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Can we ambush here? No. That would require all of our points. So we're just going to slide over and get into leadership round. Fair enough. Uh, we're currently crouched. Oh, wow. Leader multi-kill. What does that mean? Critical chance plus 3%. Your leader took out multiple enemies in a single attack, boosting party morale. Oh, <laughs> okay. I like where this is going. Torrent strike seems to be something that's loading up, so we can't do that yet. But what we can do is we can reload and we can hunker uh, down, defend. Moves to here. Um, could reload. We're just going to take to, uh, mm, take that over. Move closer and defend. Good. That guy doesn't seem to be ultra accurate. We, on the other hand, have a sniper who is. And that was a cool first fight. Alright, so our major is in trouble. We got um, quick slot medical item and an injury kit to remove injuries. I see. As well as a Polaroid photo, which I think doesn't really do a, a lot. So... Uh, there apparently we're getting XP, which is good. I, I like that. And what kind of ammunition is this using? So we're using 9mm, got plenty, okay, that's good. This here is using uh, 30 mil um, ammunition and we do have 25, which is good as well. So that is our ammo, but we're getting a couple of other bits and pieces of ammo as well. All right, let's see, Private uh, Beltran, what's up? Sorry about your friends, but now we have to save ourselves. Right. Get poor Joey back to AC. There's no way uh, back across the lake. Our only hope is to press forward. We need you. You can still fight. Are you can yourselves. We are done. Just let me go. All right, we're leaving without you then. Wait. Listen, I don't want to be over dramatic, but if you want to stay here, that's a really, really bad idea. As in, it's the type of idea that gets you killed. 
Another injury kit. That's good. We don't have any injuries yet. Uh, thank God. And we used our uh, little uh, key and got a big fat frag grenade. I like that. So let's replace one of uh, the healing kits with a fr uh, frag grenade. Sounds like a good plan. Oh, wow. Okay, I assume we can, uh, we don't have mechanics, but we can hopefully disable the defenses. Oh, if we had nerd stuff, we could do some something else. Okay, all we need to do is not run into that guy. Pig lock. Um, that is unfortunate. That also was very unfortunate. I saw a trap and before I could even react, the trap was already starting to uh, mm, to activate itself. Oh, not good. Well, that's two healing items gone. Good, but we got ourselves, I think we got ourselves a weapon, didn't we? Alright, we got... A Hawk Hunter sniper rifle. So how does that compare? We got a slag sniper Clearly a little bit more damage uh, A bit more damage. Yep uh, decent ammo capacity range is the same Higher penetration which I assume is against armor Same hit chance. Okay, so just a better weapon overall. What we haven't figured out yet is how to modify weapons, but I assume that'll happen a little bit later in the game. Drink to gain more melee damage but suffer minus two AP afterwards, okay. Uh, crit chance, charm, I like that. So wait, can we just use that? Oh, nice. Where do I see my crit chance? Uh, potentially with attributes. Hmm. Well, not really. Show stats. Oh, there we go. Crit chance, 20%. And here we have 28%. Yay. I like that. Sneak attack damage. How do I do a sneak attack? So, how do I sneak? I assume... By stealthing. Take cover, improve hit chance, evasion, detection time. Good, we're looting more ammunition. Injury kits, good. More medical kits, great. Nitro spike. Uh, used to revive all incapacitated uh, SWAT members. Mm. I like that. I think the injury kits sound like something that you use after the combat. Or 
not use, uh, we're not going to use that during the combat. Another ammo box. Okay. Uh, let's leave that one closed for a second. Uh, that seems like the perfect time for the first save of the game. It smells like end boss to me. The fun's over. Wait a minute. Maybe not. Howdy, Hotlander. <laughs> oh, as much fun as it is killing folk long distance. I like it best when the deluge of blood happens up close and personal. You know what I mean? <laughs> The rest is gonna be sorry he stayed home. He loves him some entrails. <laughs> um. Why the fuck did you attack us? Who's the rest us? My big brother. He'd have loved to take a piece out of you. But that's okay. I'll bring him one later. Does he have guts hanging around his uh, neckline instead of oh wow so at least now I know who took the intestines by the way if you were to wear intestines like that it would be incredibly unsanitanic uh, and uh, disease ridden so that's a really bad idea anyways leadership to the way uh, to go about him it sounds like arrest is the real leader so why are we talking to you I like that you you, you ain't talking to me, assholes. I'm talking to you, and I'm done talking. The deluge of blood is coming, and I'm its harbinger. And it all begins here, you little prayer dog. What I do to you, the Dorsey's gonna do to all of Colorado. So squeal all you want. No one's coming to save us. <laughs> Holy shit! They done killed Jared! Done. Never shut up! Heads up, Rangers! More incoming! Okay. Lovely. Good, we're going into full cover here. Hitting this guy and hitting him. Good, I like that. Not sure if we should risk that. I think we're better off just going here and we're preparing for next round fair enough wow central took a huge blow heals himself up that was a harsh blow The music is very, very good. That looks like this could explode. Okay, not cool. Not cool at all. Central has problems. Oh, damn. 
Central is burning. All right, Central is being pulled up. I was hoping we could heal Central and not heal ourselves. Murphy moves to here. Central moves down, can't heal ourselves, so we're just going to defend for now. Not a great turn. Luckily the Major is keeping the brunt of the damage. This guy needs to die. Very nice kill, good job, Major. We're healing ourselves. Take out the guy that I mentioned would be a problem. And uh, move back into cover. One AP is going to be taken over. Oh. Are you kidding me? have a problem because this guy is not going to go away Sentry heals himself Major we could use some help over here Alright, like I said, that unfortunately was not really working that well. So let's try that again. First death of the campaign in the first uh, end fight. But we learned a lot of valuable lessons. For instance, make sure that you are not staying in the middle of explosives. I think when we're re-approaching that fight with the knowledge, that'll be a... Uh, bit easier Ah, oh, damn it. Looks like we killed them all. Guess the fun's over. The rest is gonna be my big brother. No, no one's coming to save. All right. Let's try this again. Shut up. Heads up, Rangers. More incoming. Uh, this here should clean out all of that. 
Interestingly enough, this time there was not an explosion for this side. I would suggest we're just going into full cover over here. And full cover over here. Take over two turns. And this guy is burning. Central is taking all of the heat. So, listen. More healing. Nah, I don't know if we need to destroy destroy that uh, cover here. Ninety-five percent shot, and we're missing. Unreal. Look, why not? Eat this. This guy just burned to death. Funny. Good, another 95% shot. Fabulous hit, I like that, by the way. I want the stronger sniper. Still not enough AP. Hmm. Good. Reloading our other sniper rifle because why not? And preparing for the next turn. Oh, we now got Torrent Spike. Okay. That looks like... Oh, that looks like a lot of damage. Um, we can just defend for now because he hopefully can't hit us then. Uh, the guy with the rocket launcher, I think we need to kill him. Just a hunch, but I would say we don't want to deal with that. Central moves over and I think we're just going to ambush. See, when you know what is happening, then it is so much easier to deal with the enemies. Yeah, we didn't even really take a lot of damage. Well, that's the nature of a blind playthrough. You're effectively learning as you go. So, uh, got a Mangler, level 3 rocket, which requires explosives. And the rockets deal quite a bit of damage, but are potentially also very, very expensive. Oh, nice. Um, that gives Kiss Ass plus one, a utility item. Okay. Happy to equip that. I think that's good for our social character. We can't really use the Mangler at this point. Um, we got a smoke grenade. Persistent smoke that conceals anyone, significantly increasing evasion. I like that. Might as well give him uh, the smoke grenade. Uh, 
And oh, we just got an upgrade, three skill points. So if we're going further into automatic weapons, that would be really, really helpful. But before we are going deeper into anything, I believe we wanted just to get the base skills covered. So how about we're upgrading Hardes and we still had Barter. So he has all of uh, the social skills. And did a really decent job uh, with his uh, fighting. Central did well. On the other hand, we do have Murphy getting three skill points. Um. Sneak attack damage and can disarm alarms. Who can disarm traps? That would be very helpful. Damage with unconventional weapon types, explosives. Here, yeah, disarm landmines and traps. Yeah, nah, it doesn't fit the character. I want kind of one character that goes fully for explosives. Good, in which case, I think we're just going sneaky, uh, sneaky sh four plus one. And now it's a question of, do we put another skill onto the sniper or are we just upgrading sniper rifles further? Haven't used any of, haven't used any of the abilities so far. Uh, shredder shot. You see an unprotected spot, put a hole in it, make him pick between fighting and stopping the blood. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what the perks do. They look good, but what exactly are they doing? I would like to go further into sniper rifles, so let's confirm that. And I just would want to understand... Perks. Okay, here we got perks. Deep pockets. Fair enough. Armor. Quick reflexes and crit resistance. Cool. So small arms. Uh, small arms does have. Fires a shotgun shell that inflicts bleeding damage on anyone. Shredder shot. Uh, we don't have that. Then we do have. Uh, your strike meter charges at a bonus 5% with each successful handgun attack. That doesn't mean anything for us. Uh, fire handgun. Okay. Shotguns uh, do uh, deal more damage. Your first attack after reloading an empty weapon costs no AP. What? Um, okay. Yeah, that one here is good. Okay, we want that. Then requires uh, sniper rifles, reduces enemies evasion by 15%. Mark targets also take 50%. Uh, okay, but how do I mark a target? Precision strikes with sniper rifles have significantly higher chance of inflicting critical effects. Okay, cool. 10% uh, more chance when using a sniper rifle. If you don't move, that's good as well. I, I like all of that. Ambush attack with sniper rifle that kills uh, your target doesn't end your ambush. Okay, cool. All of that is great. Uh, this here is supreme. Uh, we're definitely going to go for that first. So back to skills. Uh, small arms. Thank you. And we want small arm seven. Now, if I look at uh, this here... Hmm. 
Hmm, maybe it is under these abilities, so that we are uh, that there is a sub menu. Good, but we're going to find that out in the next fight. For now, we need to deal with a major. Major Aprasan's breath uh, steams from her clenched teeth. Her guts are spilled uh, through her bloody fingers. Uh, first aid, it's clear to you that she's in shock. It's incredible she's still conscious. Hmm. Private Bell, she should be here sh uh, soon. Thank you. You did well. Now. Hmm. All over the paperwork. We need to to head for Colorado Springs. Establish a headquarters at Peterson Air Force Base. Support the Patriarch, no matter what. We do that, and the Patriarch sends aid to the Arizona Rangers. We don't. And the Rangers are fucked. And that brings me to the secret orders. How secret? What el uh, who else knows them? Uh, only me. Got them from got them from General Woodson. When we first heard from the Patriarch, General Woodson sent an sent an advanced team to Colorado, led by Angela Dev. But they went dark. We have to find them. Who's Angela Death? Part of the Ranger squad that took down base Cochise 20 years ago. Only one who's, who's still alive. Almost died on a mission in California, but but she found her way home. I can't, can't believe they didn't tell you about her in training. Give me a second. Catch my breath. And we can go. Major, with all due respect, you're dying. I don't want to euthanize her, but she's dying. I think there is no way around it. Well, fuck. Ah, come on, she was a good character. Got some chest armor, some leggings, a nice sword rifle. Oh, I know who th who that loot is going to, so... Wow. Central looks like a chat for once. I like it. And... We got a nice little sword rifle. Cool. Very nice. Good, lots of loot. For me, the question is, where is that remaining ranger? And uh, somehow something is awkwardly wrong. All right, back needed to restart. So we, I think we found Major Tom for whatever reason. Major Tom. Uh, Major Tom Cat. Let's go back to the mission. Okay. Uh, he's an animal ranger, apparently.
bit of a strange thing happened. I can't really fully control anything anymore. I can only click on items and then people are either following or not. Alright, I think that's a good, if not excellent, cliffhanger. I need to figure out what happened with the controls here. And we're going to start at the Ranger HQ the next time. I hope you enjoyed uh, the first episode of Wastelands uh, 3. Uh, I certainly did. And we're going to continue with the Patriarch uh, just uh, the next time when we're revisiting this hellish hole. Um, and hopefully are going to be a bit more successful than in the end fight. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next episode. Bye bye